What's up guys? It's Friday and you know what that means. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, follow the algorithm. Today, we have a return guest from a long time ago. It's been a while since we've had this guy on. Although quite frankly, I could probably have him on every week if I wanted to. I just haven't had many people send me his stuff recently, but we have a video from Dr. Jason Fung, and this is on the account from Lumen. Now, for those of you guys who are not aware, Lumen is a device that you breathe into that basically tells you whether or not you're burning carbs or fats. Wow. It's based on respiratory exchange, but it's only assessing CO2. Now, I looked at the data for this device, and basically the R quotient is around a 0.5, which is okay. It's a significant association, but it's not real great, to be quite honest. Now, do I think that it probably tells you a decent amount whether or not you are a carb burner or a fat burner? Sure, but fat burning and carb burning are not the same things as the loss of body fat. So you can burn a lot of fat and not lose body fat because fat burning is only one part of the equation. You see, if you eat a lot of fat, but eat low carb, you will burn a lot of fat. You will also store a lot of fat because you don't really store dietary carbohydrate as fat. In metabolic tracer studies, where they give either carbohydrate or fat, they show that less than 2% of what you eat with carbohydrate winds up in actual adipose tissue. Over 98% is from dietary fat. So if you eat low fat, high carb, you don't burn much fat, but you also don't store much fat. If you eat high fat, low carb, you burn a lot of fat, but you also store a lot of fat. What determines the loss or gain of body fat is da da da, da energy balance. And so this telling you if you're a carb burner or a fat burner really tells you very, very little about whether or not you are losing or gaining body fat. But I digress. Let's see what Fung has to say. If you are continually burning carbs, well, you can't burn body fat. It's a different fuel source entirely. So glucose, carbs, or fat, that is body fat or dietary fat, are your main sources of fuel. In this study, those people who were burning mostly fat tend to keep that body weight off or in fact even lose more body weight. And those who tended to That's burn not what the study said, carbohydrates Jason. tended to gain the most weight. Is it possible to tell what your body is burning for fuel and then use that information to help lose weight? Absolutely. That's where a device such as a Lumen can come in. And we're gonna stop right there. So that's not what the study showed. He was actually showing the study I referred to. The study showed that there was a correlation between the respiratory exchange ratio and the CO2 that was expired and measured by this device. He just added in that little bit at the end for, you know, flavor. If it's all about just not eating carbs, why isn't Jason the leanest man on the planet? Why isn't he not leaner than me? Because I eat a lot of carbs. He said exercise doesn't matter and he said calories don't really matter. So how am I leaner than you, Jason? And I know everyone like, yes, that's anecdote, but these are the folks that like to invoke anecdote. Also, how do you explain all the millions of people who have lost fat on a low fat, high carb diet? How do you explain the rice diet from the 1970s, where there was a study looking at people who went on a diet of mostly white rice, refined carbohydrates like cereals, white bread, and fruit juice, and lost over 100 pounds and improved all their markers of insulin sensitivity and all their blood markers of health. Very inconvenient if you can't lose fat because you're eating carbs, which stop you from burning fat, which by the way, I already talked about how this works. How does anybody who eats any amount of carbs actually lose fat? And then people say, well, it's different for obese. It's different for people with type two diabetes. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's actually studies that show that people with type two diabetes lose just as much or more body fat under the same conditions of deficit compared to people who are non-diabetic. So again, that's just not true. Once again, Jason is taking half the truth which is if you're on a low carb diet, you burn more fat, and then leaping to what he wants you to believe, which is you will lose more body fat by doing that. Can you lose body fat on a low carb diet? Absolutely you can, if you are consuming less calories than you burn. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.